Hey guys, my name is Tracy Chimo. I'm an actor here in New York City. I've been here for about 15 years. Um, I believe it's been about eight or nine years since I have uh, gotten my first real job um, with equity where there was a paycheck involved and it was for off-Broadway theater. Um, yeah, I believe it was about eight or nine years ago that that happened for me and it was, a, it was an incredible experience. I just have to point out to you because I'm just noticing now. <laughs> um, no, this is not some weird plug that I have behind me like, oh, look, I'm making a video on theater. Ah! No, that's not, the, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing that um, to be an idiot. I, this is honestly just the only chair in my apartment right now that doesn't have laundry all over it. So, um, so here I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, I, I, when I first came to New York, um, I had about four jobs uh, so that I could pay my rent. I was a dog walker, a babysitter, um, I was a waitress and a bartender, and then I also uh, cut keys at a hardware store in the village. And I did whatever I could so that I could audition during the day. Um, and I did a lot of equity showcases, which don't pay anything, but it's great experience and you get to meet a lot of people. And um, and then I was blessed to get my first off-Broadway gig and get a paycheck. And I didn't care what it was back then because I was just so excited to even get paid that like it, it didn't matter to me if it was three hundred dollars or you know three seventy-five and four hundred and twenty-five, you know, before taxes. And then if I was lucky, I would come home with about $250 in my pocket. I didn't care because I was young and I was just so happy to be, I was so happy to be working with those people and I'm still happy to be working with those people. I still feel grateful. I still feel, I feel blessed all the time that I get to make art with some of my favorite people in the world, some of the best artists in the world, the best actors, the best stage managers, the best crews, the best, um, playwrights you get to create something new and fresh with a director you get to collaborate with brilliant brilliant people and make exciting different unique special gritty theater and that's what off broadway is it's sad to me that we don't get paid for it is the, my only problem with it that I, I eventually started to have to go and find another avenue so that i could live you know so that i could um i could live in new york city uh, and breathe a little bit. You know, it's very, very difficult to live here. It's a very expensive town. Um, it's hard to get, you know, it, it's hard, it's hard to get an apartment. It's hard to, you know, that doesn't, that isn't a shithole. It's, it's, it's hard to live well here. And I think, um, if, if the artists that are necessary to continue to make and create these brilliant new plays, if, if you want those artists to do those things, you need to pay them. Otherwise, it's just going to, um, it's gonna take them all away from the theater that they love the most and the theater that's in their hearts and uh, is in their souls and is maybe why they came to New York, like myself, you know what I mean? I knew I wanted to do off-Broadway theater because that was, I knew that was where the best stuff was and it still is. And um, I believe on, I believe in fair wage on stage and I believe that uh, it's time for us to take a stand and shout out what we deserve, what we know we should have. All right, guys.